Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be some good old spring homemaking motivation. I've got some stuff to do inside as well as outside today. The kids and I are going to be starting our raised bed garden and we're all so excited. The kids have really been looking forward to this. We went and picked out some plants. So we're going to be getting those planted today. I looked at the Almanac website for our location and our last frost it says was March 24th. So I think I'm safe to go ahead and plant some stuff but I'm really excited to get that started. So we're going to be doing that today. Wearing my overalls today and I love them. I got me a sun hat from Walmart to wear when I'm gardening, it's gonna be a whole vibe. Anyways, I've got some stuff to do before we head outside. I need to get the kids school done. That's always top priority every day is to go ahead and knock that out so that um, we can focus on everything else we have to do and not have to worry about that. There are some days where we get it done in the evenings, but I try to get it done in the mornings if I can. So it's a very beautiful day. It's I think the high is 66 today, so I think it's going to be a really good day to get all this done, but we're going to go get school done. I did wash my bed sheets this morning, and those are pretty close to being done. I'm waiting on the sheet protector, not the sheet protector, the mattress protector to come out of the dryer, and I want to go ahead and get those put back on my bed before we get outside. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started. All my plants here on the table I was gonna show you guys what we picked out one of you guys gave me the idea to plant some herbs in one of the beds so we're gonna do that I got a cilantro a parsley and a chive I got all things that I know that we will use and eat so that's just something to keep in mind if you want to plant a garden get things that you're actually gonna eat your family is gonna eat or else it's all for nothing so I got things that we will actually use but that's my herbs I got some a couple of different kinds of tomatoes and I did not pay attention but I got determinate tomatoes and if I remember correctly the determinate ones grow really tall I did not pay attention when I was picking my tomatoes out so I got determinates but it's fine we're gonna roll with it I got some romas and then these are celebrity hybrid tomatoes another roma there i got a couple things of strawberries these are zucchini i also got a couple of green bell pepper i wanted to get a green and a red but all they had were the green so that's what i got and then back here in the back i got a couple of cucumber and i chose to go ahead and get plants that are sprouted up just so I can visually see where I'm planting things easier and plus it's just way more exciting to see the plants in the garden. I think part of me is also just impatient. Sneak peek of another project we have coming up. 
the clothesline. I had ordered it yesterday around three o'clock and I was thinking when I ordered it would be here maybe mid next week but no they delivered it yesterday evening. I was very surprised and it was only a $35 fee which for me is worth it because I can't fit stuff like this in my car and I would have to more than likely reach out to someone pay them for the gas and yeah it's just worth it for me to pay the $35 um, just to have it sent to my house so anyway that's the wood for our clothesline and I think I want it to go right out there somewhere where the sun really beams because I was thinking of putting it over there but that's near the trees and part of the day that's shaded so I just don't think that would be a good idea. I think it would be better to have it out here. That way I have more drying time, more sun time. My clothes can actually get some sunlight. So that's what I'm gonna do. But these are the planners that I picked out. These are just galvanized planners on Amazon. They had different sizes. I think these are the smallest ones. They're the two by four by eight, I believe. I'll have them linked down below if y'all are interested, but I'm so excited. I love them. And I'm going to try to line my beds with some cardboard boxes. I think that would be a good idea to help keep the weeds out. And this is all of the soil. This was the best price that I could find at Lowe's on soil. So I got eight bags of that. So I wanted to line my beds with cardboard boxes just to act as a weed barrier and I wish I would have thought about it but wetting these would have made it so much easier to mold it to the shape of the beds but I didn't think about it beforehand so I ended up just laying them under the beds. I know it's not super aesthetic or anything but I think that will do the job and keep the weeds out. And also what I did to save on the amount of soil that I had to put in my beds, I went out to the edge of our property and gathered some pine straw and some sticks to put in the bottoms of my beds. So that way I didn't have to use as much soil because I had bought four bags for each bed, but because I used the pine straw, I only had to use three bags each. So I'll just put the other two bags in my shed and use them at a later time. But one of you guys had actually gave me the idea to um, do the pine straw at the bottom so that way I didn't have to use as much soil. So thank you. I can't remember your name, but thank you for giving me that idea. it came to choosing my soil I knew I wanted something organic because we are going to be growing our fruits and vegetables in this soil so I chose to get an organic one and I did get mine from Lowe's they didn't have a lot to choose from by the way the kids had their bubble guns out today so you might see some bubbles blowing by but um, Lowe's didn't have a whole lot of soil to choose from but they did have this one it's made for 
um, raised beds and it's organic so this is the one that I chose to go with it's already pre-mixed and everything whatever that means I just know you don't have to put anything in with it I'll probably have to feed it along and along as you know our garden grows and takes the nutrients from it but if y'all have any tips that you can give us on doing the raised beds leave them in the comments below we are all new at this but the kids are so excited they're actually more involved with it than what i thought they were going to be so i think that this is going to be a nice little spring and summer project for all of us and who knows if it works out maybe next year i'll add another bed or two but i really like the idea of raised beds because I feel like anyone can do it. It doesn't matter the size of yard that you have. You could even do this on a patio if that's all you have. And I'm really hoping that I didn't overcrowd my beds. I tried to give about one square foot for each plant. There's just so many options and I felt like I went a little crazy. But like I said, I tried to um, only get things that I know that we are gonna use. I'm not gonna get things that we aren't gonna eat. Um, I know that I can use tomatoes and cucumber, that's things that we eat on the regular. And all of my kids, they love strawberries. So I just tried to keep that in mind when I was picking my plants out. But at the same time, it was really hard not to go overboard and just buy it all. So before we started planting, we took the plants and laid them out about where I wanted them to go. And then we started just planting them from there. So that way we kind of had an outline and an idea of where everything would be placed. And I don't know if you're even supposed to plant some of these things next to each other. I have no idea. This is going to be a learn as I go process. guys we got our planters done so this is the cucumber all the tomatoes down here at this end and then on this end we got the bell pepper and then over here we got the strawberries this is the zucchini what is this oh so no that's not cilantro with parsley that's parsley cilantro and the chives i don't know if i crowded these these are the bell pepper and they were in the they were in these the cartons of six and I don't know if I was supposed to separate them but I put them all right there together so there's six here and six there so if you think that I overcrowded them please leave me a comment down below I do have a little bit more room to spread them out so I might do that so between my house and my mom's house, we have this 
overgrown bush pile is what I call it and we've been spraying it with weed killer hopefully we can kill it off so we can just have a nice open yard um, and I'm also going along the edge of my front yard here with some weed killer just to kill off some of these weeds along the edge and then here in a second we're gonna flip to the next day we just ran out of time on this day to get anything else done so here in a second we will flip to the next day Hey y'all, so it is the next day. The kids and I got our garden planted yesterday. It was about four o'clock when we got done with that and then it was time to have dinner and all that. But we're gonna continue on today. I've got some stuff inside I wanna get done. I first have to get my kitchen cleaned up. Um, the boys actually just left not too long ago. They are gonna be with their dad for the next few days. And so um, this is our lunch mess and all of that. So I need to get that cleaned up. I have just a small little list I want to get done. The other day when we were at Tractor Supply picking up some plants, the boys picked out these little succulents. I don't know what possessed them to want a succulent, but they wanted them, I guess because they're little and cute. So we've got those there in the window seal. All of these chicken nuggets right here are so good. These are the, I think they're called the Just Bear chicken nuggets I got from Sam's the other day. They are so good. They taste a lot like the Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. They don't have a lot of bread on them. They're just really good quality. My mom got the strips and she said those are really good too. So I think next time I'll get some strips as well. But that's what the kids had today for lunch. And we just had some Annie's mac and cheese. I am so glad that we did that garden. The kids, they all really enjoyed it. Um, they have been out there constantly looking at the plants. You can tell they're excited. And honestly, that makes me happy because I feel like it's something that they're gonna be invested in. It's gonna be a learning opportunity for everybody because I know nothing about gardening, absolutely nothing. <laughs> and I don't have a green thumb. I am horrible at keeping plants alive. So hopefully, you know, this works out for us. I thought about getting started on my clothesline. Sorry, I gotta sneeze. Mm, I guess it went away. I thought about getting started on my clothesline because I'm just so excited to get that done as well. But I think I'm gonna put that in the next video that we do because I'm also gonna be painting my mom's back doors. And I think that'll be good to fit in that video. So we'll be painting the doors, doing the clothesline. So, yeah. But I think I've decided to paint my clothesline white. I think that will look so pretty. I used to use this all the time. The OGs may remember, but it's the Caldrea countertop spray. It smells so good. And I had stopped using it for a while. It was just one of those things that I put away in the cabinet, didn't think about it anymore. Y'all know how it is, but lately I've been seeing Kimmy Cope use it a lot in her house and it made me wanna get some. So that's what I just wiped everything down with. It makes your house smell amazing. Even like, the next day I can still smell it. When you walk into your kitchen, you can smell it. It just smells so good. Y'all, my laundry room is out of control. I've gotta do something with this today. 
I need to get my rugs put back. I washed those the other day. Got stuff on top of my freezer. This is stuff that I pulled out of my car the other day. I still have to go through that and get it sorted. I've got stuff here on top of my dryer I need to get put away. So yeah, I've got boxes over here in the corner. goodness that looks so much better just did like a whole refresh in here I got my shells decluttered I just took some of the stuff and put it in other places it could go because I would catch myself just throwing things on these shelves when it doesn't really belong it was kind of like a catch-all so I cleared those off and I also took all of my vacuum cleaner parts out of this because I had a few in here but I had a lot that was in my shed and so I took and combined all of those and put them into one container and then I stuck the container in my little vacuum closet that just makes more sense. All of this over here in the corner is stuff that needs to go back to my shed so I'll take that out there later. Also got Ellie's bed in the washer. It was looking pretty grungy so <laughs> went ahead and threw that in the washer but I got the floors swept and mopped with my little all-in-one vacuum and then put my rug back down and it's looking like a laundry room again. I also got this little nook cleared off where we can see it. I would like to maybe get me a little lamp to go right there because I've got an outlet right there. I think that'll look really cute and cozy. Alright y'all so I'm in the kids bathroom. 
I need to wipe their counter down. It's looking a little crusty. I had a very sweet subscriber send this to my P.O. box. It's a toilet paper holder. So now we have somewhere to put their toilet paper. Um, and I also think it matches their towel ring. So I think it's gonna look really good. But she asked me not to share her name on social media so i'm not going to share her name but you know who you are and i just wanted to thank you for sending this she also sent a very cute little basket i'm going to get that put together as well so we'll do that here in a second but i'm going to go ahead and get this put together so we can get the kids toilet paper on it and then just kind of wipe their bathroom down get it tidy back up Do this right. Oh, I did not do this right. I have too many. Yes. <laughs> there we go. That looks better. person that sent me the cute little toilet paper holder also sent me this basket I'll show you guys but that's what it looks like and she sent it for my toilet paper but I had already gotten a basket for my toilet paper but I think I can still use this in my bedroom I actually need something bigger to put my spare sheets in because the little bin that I'm putting them in right now is just one of those little square bins out like that and I've got it shoved at the top of my closet and they're kind of overflowing and I just have the one set so I think I just need something bigger to put those in so I think this is gonna be perfect but this is the color it's so pretty I just realized I've got some serious sunburn on my shoulders me and the kids went outside earlier today and just sat because it's been such beautiful weather I guess I need to remember to put on my sunscreen <laughs> right looks like the picture but I think this is gonna be perfect for my spare bed sheets and I think it might even fit under the bench that's at the foot of my bed so let's go try it out it came with two liners the one that I have in there now is just an open liner but this one has a divider in it so if you wanted to keep things separate so what I'm gonna do is fold this up and stick this in there and I'll have it for if I want to change it out okay so it wouldn't fit at the foot of my bed under the bench so I just stuck it here in my closet and it works perfect for my spare sheets I know they're not folded they're just wadded up <laughs> and thrown in there but it is perfect so thank you again next thing on my list i still gotta fold some laundry but i've got to get my bills paid it won't take me very long to do um and the way i do it the way i keep track of everything is i have a spreadsheet sit out with my budget like how much i have to pay for each thing i just go down the spreadsheet and I'll go ahead and deduct it from my checkbook. So I have a checkbook app, it's called Checkbook. <laughs> and um, I'll try to link it down below, but just if you have an iPhone, I think it's different for Android, but for iPhone it's called Checkbook. 
I'll try to put like a picture of the icon on the screen so y'all can see what the icon looks like for the app. But I keep track of my bank account there. Like I don't, I pay attention to my bank account, but I also put everything that goes in my bank account and out of my bank account in this checkbook and I reconcile it. So that way I can keep track of what's gonna be coming out and I don't have anything that's unexpected. Things clear later than others. So if I have to write a check for something, I'll go ahead and enter it in my little checkbook app and it's already accounted for in my bank account. So I just go by the checkbook app and not my bank account, if that makes any sense. So when it comes to paying my bills, I get paid once a month so what I like to do is go ahead and deduct all of my bills for the month I don't care what day they're coming out I'll go ahead at the first of the month and go ahead and deduct them um, so that way it's kind of taken care of for the rest of the month I really hope what I'm saying is making sense I like Netflix um, let's say it's gonna come out on the 20th well I'm still gonna go ahead and deduct it from my checkbook at the beginning of the month so it's already accounted for and I basically do that for all of my bills that's just the best way for me to keep up with everything I just like to have it go ahead and um, be accounted for so I don't have to sit down every week and think okay what bills are coming out now what do I need to pay this week and some people have to do that because they get paid weekly or even bi-weekly but for me, I get paid monthly, though, so this is how I do it. And a lot of these I have on auto draft, like my cell phone bill, um, Netflix, um, all of our little subscriptions, my life insurance. Um, that's all on auto draft. So I don't even really have to go pay the bill, I just take it out of my checkbook. Y'all, my hair is a hot mess. Um, I slept with my braid last night and it was, it looked okay this morning, but it was a little extra messy. So I redid it, but honestly, you can't even tell that I redid it. It's really messy. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end today's video so I can get it edited and up for you guys on Sunday. I think my mom and I are going to go grab some dinner since it's just me and Ray tonight. It's not really not worth it to cook anything. So, and I've been doing really good about eating out since we went to Sands and stocked up. We didn't eat out at all last week, which is really good for us. And usually after about a week or so, I like to go and eat out. It's just something different and it gives you a break from cooking at home. But I really hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and enjoyed seeing the garden. I'm so excited to get started on the clothesline. I'm hoping I can go ahead and start on that tomorrow, but we shall see. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Remember to leave your butterfly emoji down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.